Welcome to Friday's Celebration Assembly. Um, we've got a lot to get through this week. Not only have we got stars of the week, we've also got the winners of our art competition. Starting with Dormouse Stars of the Week, here is a fantastic car designed by Minnie. Uh, well done Minnie for completing lots of work on Purple Mash and for this wonderful coloured design. Alice in Dormouse class has been busy doing lots of writing and uploaded the full instructions to make a Trinidadian pepper roti which she made at home which looks really delicious. Well done Alice. From Hedgehog class, Thea. Thea, your star of the week for your creativity and your artistic ideas. Um, you've done a particularly impressive dragon bag and participated really well in the Zoom sessions. And Mrs. Friedley can see that you're eager to get back to school and carry on with your learning. Not long to go now, Thea. Joseph has been busy working away. He's given a super effort with his work. Uh, some amazing artwork and he's done lots of maths work too. Lily Bell showing so much creativity and imagination. Just look at all these artistic creations. Uh, Lily Bell puts a super effort into her work. She's always smiling and looking happy on the Zooms. Looking forward to seeing you back at school then, Lily as well. Noah. Noah in school has been doing some amazing artwork and has followed some instructions on how to draw. And Bethany has done some independent writing following speed sounds in discovery time. Well done, Bethany. Izzy, you've got a comment uh, from Mrs. Nicholson, putting your head down, working so hard in school. You're very self-motivated, keeps going even when you find the work tricky. So well done, Izzy. From squirrel class, well done to Flynn. Flynn is continuing to contribute a huge range of work to the class blog. Um, we've got maths, spelling tests, uh, winter games challenge, uh, and finding the features of a newspaper report for English. Flynn is working really hard and completes everything to a very high standard. He contributes to the Zoom meetings and has lots to share. His independence is increasing lots. So well done for working so hard, Flynn. Lucas is posting work on the class blog and working really, really hard. Uh, we've got his grammar and some spelling work. And here's a picture of Lucas carrying out an investigation into floating and sinking. Now Jasper is continuing to post lots of work onto the class blog. And here we've got his maths where he's been doing some measurement work and he listens really carefully to the Zoom meetings. So well done to Jasper. And from Otter class, Harry. Harry has shown great enthusiasm and engagement during the Otter class Zoom catch-ups. Uh, Miss Bennett says you've actively taken part in all of the activities and you've been very confidently sharing your excellent ideas. So well done, Harry. Nathan, for creating a wonderful piece of science work all about food chains. A very creative and unique poster with multiple examples of food chains. Very well done, Nathan. I'm interested in some of those predators there. Uh, Amelia, well done, Amelia. Fantastic manners, fantastic listening skills and engagement throughout the Otter Class Zoom catch-ups. Your confidence has really grown and it's wonderful to see that you've been participating during the class sessions. Well done, Amelia. Finn, you have created a wonderful set of imaginary creatures based on the recent book, The Adventures of Beagle. Very creative, imaginative and wonderful ideas that you've developed. Very well done, Finn. 
Henry. Wonderful excitement for, for and concentration shown during the Otter Class Zoom sessions. You have shown and demonstrated excellent manners and great listening skills. Super well done, Henry. Over to Fox Class now and James. Well done for continuing to work incredibly hard. Your Agony Uncle letter this week was excellent. You've also produced some excellent science work looking at classification. Amelia, uh, Mrs Newbold and I both have enjoyed reading your excellent newspaper report just before half term. It's fantastic to see that you're writing with such confidence. You've also, Amelia, been nominated for Badger Class as well, so that's two stars of the week for you. Always getting on well with your work, always neat and takes presentation very seriously. You're sensible and fun and the teachers can rely on you to set a good and friendly example to the whole of Badger Class. So double well done there, Amelia. Rose, well done for continuing to challenge yourselves. Some fantastic maths week this math work this week looking at algebra and Mrs Newbold was really pleased with your agony aunt letter which included some excellent vocabulary. And Isla, Isla you've worked incredibly hard throughout lockdown. You have an excellent independent approach to your work which is always top quality and a pleasure to receive. Well done Isla. And now the results of our art competition. We had lots of entries. Uh, over the half term, some members of our governing body met remotely and they were given the very difficult task of working out the winners. It was such a difficult task that they actually brought more prizes themselves. Uh, and in total, we've got nearly 30 prize winners. So a big thank you to our judges for your time and generosity with the extra prizes. And a big thank you also to the PTA who helped fund some of the other prizes. Hopefully by now our main prize winners, our two first prize winners, will have received their packages in the post. All of the other prizes, because there's so many of them, um, they're sitting in the office in quarantine at the moment and we'll give them out on the first day back at school, so Monday the 8th of March. So, let's see. Now, the first, so, the first round of prizes are for independent working and special mentions. So everybody whose name appears on this slide will receive their prize on Monday, first Monday back, 8th of March. So these are special mentions uh, for in reception Millie, Bethany and Robin. In year one Isabel and Poppy. In year two Florence, Cody and Arabella. In year three Amelie, Finn and Stella. In year four Frankie and Karna. Year five, Nathan and Bobby. And year six, Lexi, Rihanna and Isla. Now to our runners up. And our runners up uh, will receive a slightly bigger prize. Um, and our first runner up, we've got a runner up from each year group um, from year one is Kelly. Okay, so there's Kelly's artwork, prize winning artwork. Uh, our year two winner is Thea and I think we've seen that picture somewhere before in this assembly. Um, year three runner-up prize winner belongs to Isabel. Year four our winner is Holly. Year five our winner is Josh. Year six our runner-up winner is Arana and we had two for year six it was so hard for the judges um we've got a year six runner-up of ned with his droid okay which brings us to our overall prize winners we've got one for key stage one and one for key stage two so 
our overall winner, Key Stage 1, and uh, the prize for this is an art kit and some uh, sketching paper so you can carry on producing some great art. Our overall winner for Key Stage 1 is Reception Rufus. Okay, uh, Reception Rufus, uh, that's your observational drawing, very detailed of an iron it seems. And then for overall winner of Key Stage 2, this piece of work is called Muddy Lockdown Welly Walks. And it's by Rose. Beautiful drawing there, Rose. We are looking at ways of sharing all of these pictures with you and hope to have them uh, shared out with you uh, very shortly. There are so many wonderful entries. Um, we are running another competition starting on Monday. Uh, a bit of fun for book week. See if you can match the book uh, favourite children's book to the teacher. Um, in the meantime, have a safe weekend. Um, have a busy next week. And I am so looking forward to seeing you all back in school Monday the 8th of March.